Right, 90. That's a way to make a play. So go. We're a hook dropper. We're a seam dropper. Right, 90. Head stretch. Bump it. Believe in what you see. Believe in what you see. <laughs> better. That's a better understanding. Hey. We're in OTAs, phase three of the off-season workout program. And, you know, coming in, you learn all these new plays. It's kind of like going to school your whole life. And then all of a sudden, it's in Chinese the next day. My mind was kind of all knotted up, and now it's kind of slowly unraveling. What happens? Start getting a little bit of thinking involved there, huh? <laughs> he said, he said, gotcha. I thought he said doctor. I was like, I'm excited about the direction it's heading. I think he understands that he's got to be able to communicate and operate with a guard next to him. The ends in the nine technique, chances that guy being the widest rush are just greatly increased, OK? If he's sitting in a six technique there, and he cr tries to cross your face, and you can see the Sam coming off the outside, that's your guy. Get up the field. Get up the field. There you go. Now we got it. Good. That's the idea. That's the idea. They have pictures of games in the hallway and all the Viking legends. And it'd be unrealistic not to have great goals like that. Especially for me, it sets a standard for myself where I want to be at and maybe even surpass that level and go even further with it. Offense line room. I like to set high standards with myself. Even when I watch film, I'm doing anything I can to improve. You know, in the NFL, you can't get along just by talent. And it's about how hard you work, you know, nutritional-wise. And how you fuel in your body, as we've talked exactly, about. Exactly, yeah, and how you're fueling your body and what you're putting in it. As we've talked mm -hmm. about, carbohydrates are king, as well as getting the lean protein. And you're making those great choices when you're here in the cafeteria. You start making some really crummy food choices. Yeah. Weight gain happens, and it's usually the kind of weight that we don't want. Exactly. You know, I want to be the best at what I do, so, you know, why not fuel my body, you know, which is my business. Whatever I can do to gain that edge is, is, is for the best. Oh, yeah. Looks way better with uh, painted walls in here. Southern California my whole life. That's the only place I lived. Never lived on myself, so that's going to be different. I asked him, I said, is there anything that you do like, don't like, any styles? He just said, I don't like pink. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm thinking kind of a masculine, beachy, just kind of a chill hangout spot for him to come home and relax to. Matt walks in all the time with flip flops yeah. and t-shirts. I figure we better do something just chill and comfortable. You know, being in LA and that whole California environment, you know, I knew where to go. I knew where every place was to go. It's just about getting out and, you know, ha actually having to experience it. Slowly but surely, I'm kind of getting familiar a little bit. Now, at this point, I don't feel like as lost out here as I, as I did when I first came in.